the game, uh, wild. Uh, as always, a lot of good things. Uh, you know, our, our pure ability at times to uh, make things easy, but, you know, man, we're exciting. We're, we, we find ways to do things uh, to keep everybody on the edge of their seat. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a much faster paced game. And so, as I say all the time, the difference be play, between playing at night, playing in the afternoon, uh, field's a little bit wet throughout the game, the ball moves faster. So, you know, when we talk about what we want football to look like, and, and yes, we were the lucky ones tonight to be on the good side. Um, but uh, I promise you that there'll be days when maybe we don't win, and then if it's a game like that, I'll still come in and say, you know, we need as many games like that as possible. So I thought it was a hell of a game. Uh, Bob, we've talked a lot about uh, moving Carlos around in the attack today. He's he's in that kind of true number ten role. Uh, is is that really the best position for him? Because it seems to be where he's most dangerous. Even when we talk about moving him. Yeah, but look, there's there's different kind of games. You know, I mean, we have less control tonight. We have less possession tonight. We have less passes tonight. Um, but we're dangerous. And so in some games, we know we can tilt the bar that way. And so we thought going into this game that having Latif on one side, uh, Diego on the other, um, bringing Marcos back into the team, I'll get to that in a second, and then giving Carlos a little bit of freedom. We thought that in a fast turnaround for this kind of game, we thought it made sense. But uh, I think there's other games where we may choose to, uh, like we did uh, times against Columbus, like we did at times, say, against Philadelphia, see if we can string more passes together move the ball around, keep control. So the good thing is I think that on different nights we can have slightly different ways of going about it. So for tonight, I thought it was great. Uh, Marcos, um, man, we're all happy for him. Um, you know, I, I said inside um, that, uh, you know, his teammates, they all love him. He's a really good guy. Um, but I also said since you've been back from the World Cup, you've not been in a good mood. And... We need you and everybody to be in the right frame of mind all the time. And yeah, sometimes in football, uh, not all decisions go your way. It's not always, you know, that, that after a game, every single buddy, every single person inside a locker room is happy because for some it's a good night, some play, some don't. But I think we have the chance to do, still do special things. And so it's a good reminder that, that we need that part to be right for everybody. Yeah, speaking on Marcos and you know and Dio, you know, la on Sunday they played together. Today they you know switched roles where one came on and one came off. Mm -hmm. um, less so either or question, but how can you continue to use them together? And what do you think tonight told you about that? Yeah, but, but you know, when you guys ask these questions, you know, by now you should also understand if you play them together, right? Then all of a sudden you got to take somebody else out from some other place on the field. So you're not going to play them together and, and play two more wingers, right? So every time you decide I want to do this or this, it comes away from something else. That's how, that's how it works. And one of our strong sits this year has still been playing with wide attackers. And so I think that the, uh, in time that there might be a day where whether we choose to play – a little bit of a version of 4-4-2 or whether we want to play 3-5-2. You know, look, we want to be tactically flexible. But at the same time, with the way we control games in the middle of the field, with the way we can attack from both flanks, um, that's not going to be the number one way of, of going about things. So, you know, it's, it's, a, balancing, it's a balancing act for sure. Unless I, unless I let us use another striker and play with... 12 guys, but probably not. So, Hey, Coach. Uh, Tyler Miller, the back-to-back -back saves, what did that do to, for, for the confidence of the team, you think? That's a goalkeeper making a double save at an important time in the game. Uh, I think Tyler's played really well lately. And so uh, I thought we had a good start to the game. But uh, as I've said over and over, uh, Portland is really good in transition, have some really quick guys, some strong players. And so that situation turned into a, a great chance. And then when it came loose, uh, he had to make a second save. So he's been in a good way, making some really good plays for us.
In terms of closing the game out tonight, mm -hmm. I mean, you guys pushed pretty hard to get a fourth goal. We did get a fourth goal, by the way. <laughs> up until the I night. promise you we got a fourth goal. You know that. Which one? Come on. Dio. Dio's is onside. Yeah. Diego's offside. Dio's onside. 100%. So hopefully they'll have VAR in the future and U.S. Open Cup. But yeah, whatever. But so it's, it's, it's a great goal. Yeah. So. But as you guys were pushing, you pushed until the 90th, and then Djakovic came on, and you guys did what you had to do, mm -hmm. drawing fouls, closing out the game, something you haven't always been able to do and you've had to lead. What can you speak on in terms of closing out games and what tonight means? Doing yeah, it's important. Um, yeah, we, we felt like the guys on the field were doing a good job, so we waited, and then... Uh, right around 90, um, we felt that that was the time for the last move. And uh, we have experienced players. And so seeing Carlos, Dio, Benny uh, be smart about holding on to the ball, playing into the corner a little bit, good way to finish the game. So I think the guys know that uh, we haven't done that well enough. So tonight is something that we feel good about. Uh, they won't let me choose. I can't. They're not going to let me pick. <laughs> Who would you like to play? Barcelona. Uh, I think our fans would love to see Barcelona. I don't think they have enough money to bring them in. Uh, maybe one day. Uh, no, oh, look. Um, there's, I, there, I think there's a draw tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't even paid attention to how it's all set up. Uh, what, it's Chicago, Houston, Philadelphia, and ourselves. So it's fantastic that we're into the semifinals. Uh, we've talked over and over that uh, between the coaches and the players, uh, a lot of us uh, know what it's like to win an Open Cup. It's, great, it's a great feeling. Uh, so anytime you have a chance to uh, share a trophy after a game. And uh, as, a new, as a new team, uh, somewhere that I'm sure we're going to have a trophy case, but we don't need one yet because there's nothing there. So at some point, we have to start to figure out how to put some things into a trophy case. What's the difference between Chivas USA and this team in your first year? Oh, boy. Um, well, come on, start with the stadium, uh, the location. Uh, we were able, uh, you know, when I went to Chivas USA, uh, I loved my year there. Uh, the first year at Chivas USA, um, they tried to be a Mexican team. Um, and they tried to make every decision from Guadalajara. And after the first year, I think there was a tug of war between the Quays and the, the Quay family and the Vergara family. And then, so when the rope moved a little bit, I came in. And the one thing I said is uh, uh, we need to con keep the Mexican heritage and, the, and, and respect the institution. But it's Chivas USA. It's not the same as Chivas Guadalajara. So we were able to balance the team. We still brought in Claudio Suarez. We, so that year we had a really good team. But it uh, wasn't like I, we started that team from, from nothing. Uh, when we played at that time Home Depot, uh, we were not the number one tenant, I promise. Um, but here we, we have the from the beginning, the chance for something that's so unique and so special. So the location of this stadium, uh, all of the people that have been part of uh, our front office from day one who went out into every neighborhood and, and, you know, they say street by street and block by block, can try to connect with people to say, we're going to have a, a club, a team that you can be proud of, that you can feel part of. And so every time you come and you look and see the 3252 and, uh, and you get a sense that, that – um, that stadium in this location, and then it's on us to play great football. We try. I say it all the time. It's not perfect yet, but we try. And so, uh, you know, I enjoyed my one year with Chivas USA, but, you know, I started talking about Mandela, and I'm going to finish, you know. Um, Chivas USA, the first year was all Mexican, and I said, no, it needs to represent uh, also Los Angeles. And, but it was different because we weren't in Los Angeles. Now we are, and we can try to have a team that, that matters to, to everyone in Los Angeles. You have to earn that, so we're not there yet. Uh, I still have people who say we haven't done, you know, we haven't uh, youth players in their neighborhoods and we haven't scouted them yet. We're going to keep trying. You know, we have an academy. We have to make sure that 
uh, we reach into every neighborhood. We get to know all the kids, and that uh, in a few years we have we have players that have come through our academy from Los Angeles that are playing on the first team. But we're trying, and we're off to a good start. Bob was. Was Lee's substitution a, a pre-planned substitution with somebody like Benny on the bench? And what were your instructions to him today? Because he, he was really uh, putting out a shift out there where he was really connecting a lot of passes and, and getting in and around areas that were dangerous uh, for Portland. Yeah, I mean, Benny knows going on the field in a game like that, uh, the situation. Uh, no, it wasn't pre-planned. Lee had a card. Um, you know, we had... We were going to use Benny for short, but we just didn't know whether we would, how we would do it. But I thought Lee with the card, uh, it made sense. Uh, and, and Benny's experience at that point, uh, controlling things in the center, uh, making sure that we were organized, connecting passes. Uh, it's important that you can bring a player on like that. Same with Dio. And then at the end, Dayon. So um, was pleased with the way all three came on and, and helped. Good. Thank you. Uh, one more question. Oh, sorry. Uh, congrats I didn't on the, see you. Congrats on the win. Uh, <laughs> All right. It seems like you guys were daring from the start, and the guys wanted to push the tempo early to get things flowing. Uh, was that because you guys were trying to break Portland's lines early, or or what was it? Uh, you guys love this bit about breaking lines. This is like the new thing that everybody talks about. Um, long before I heard anything about breaking lines, there was this idea that when you attack, you try to play forward. You try to find the right windows. You try to do things where the field, you stretch the defense, but at the same time, you look forward. And, and tonight is a totally different game because it's faster. And so the, the ball moves better. Um, the energy to step on the field and, and go after the other team. Uh, after 30 minutes the other day, uh, a lot of players were beat. And then they had to get a second wind. And, you know, when you play at that time the other day for both teams, it's, 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 it takes away from the football. And so tonight it's a whole different thing. And so, you know, I, uh, again, I mentioned the way we started. When we have Diego on one side, Latif on the other, uh, with Marco stretching the defense, with Carlos now finding spots, uh, you know, our, our ability now to, to – we may not have as much pure possession. We may not connect as many passes as we have many other games, but our ability in those moments to pick the tempo up and play fast and be a threat uh, is there. And so we, we thought that's the kind of game it could be, and, and I was very happy with the way we started. Are you looking already for the Classico next Thursday against the Galaxy team that beat you, but you should have won that game that day? Uh, well, we have to go to Minnesota first, so... Uh, we can't quite get ahead of ourselves, but uh, why do you have to remind me about that game? Okay. No, we remember. And um, now it's a chance to play them here. Uh, and, and you know how much I, I say all the time that good rivalries are important. Um, so we look forward to, again, going out there, playing football, uh, putting our best effort out and trying to see if we can uh, turn the tables this time. Sure there is. Ah, Derbies always are special. Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, Inter Milan, AC Milan, Samalek and Ali. Awesome. Say, guys, thank you. What's that? Your record against the Galaxy is not that good. Right now, we've never beaten the Galaxy. So, but we get a chance next Thursday. And I have a really good memory. <laughs>